Hey there, Heather of Holders, Jeff Cutter Diamond. Welcome you to this special uh, title belt boxing nations uh, tournament. We are doing Australia this time. We did Canada, US, France, England, Japan, Philippines, and Mexico. So Australia is our next stop on this tour. We have six very good fights from Melbourne City to Melbourne, Victoria, uh, the state of Victoria in Australia. Let's fight. We will view all the fights. Of course, there are Australian fights. Our first fight is middleweight Led Starcy against the featherweight Young Griffo. This actually would not, almost didn't happen, but because we got to make the top four Australian ranked fighter space, Darcy and Griffo get this matchup. You see Angelo Dundee and Spider Cowley facing each other. That's a good matchup. Jeff Connor, your announcer. Nikki Sanding, your main card girl. Derek Milham, your referee. John Giacomtario, Renato Cario, and Albert Wawinski are your judges. David Myers, your main side expert. Les Darcy from Australia. Um, Maitland Wonder from New South Wales was only 22 when he died. Unbelievable. 5'6", 159. He was a pretty good fighter. He was only 22 when he died. Yikes. 46 4 0, he was the world middleweight Australian champion. He probably would have been a world champion had he survived. And, and young Griffo from Australia, from Sydney, 1869 to 1927, 5 4, 129, 78 10, and 44, the world featherweight champion. Well, wow. Australia, Britain, but anyway, here we go. Let's fight.
decision. Then we read a one sixty one twelve for Griffo. I remember, you know, she would come over from Luxembourg, so it's about 114, 114, even. Wow. So if it's for Darcy or even, we have a tie. Upper Willis scores about 117, 111, 4. Young Griffo. Yep, I have a dream decision. Young Griffo Woods. The Young Griffo Woods, the punches, and the accuracy. Show the scorecards. Yeah, Young Griffo had it in early on. Surprised you. Come on. Wow, look at those four first rounds. The Luxembourg judge gave rounds two and three to Darcy. So, but no one else gave any of those mat rounds to Darcy. First fight over. Now, let's see. Lover to do junior welterweight gets the junior lightweight Robbie Pettin. Got these guys in. Darcy Smith and Dan Milano for Nadu. Jimmy Landon Jr., your announcer. Harry Celeste, your. Freaking girl, no have your referee, the only Australian referee, I guess. Larry Doggett, Jeff Belton, and Russell Naquit are your judges. I think Naquit's Canadian, isn't he? Samoji, your very excited expert. Loverboer, the Black Panther from South Africa into Sydney, Australia. Or 1971, 5-8-1-38. the IBA F light welterweight champion and a Pan Pacific champion. Robbie Pettit, the barber, as they call for Brisbane, 5'8", 133 pounds. 25'4", the IBF Super Featherweight Champion. Two-time Olympian. All right. So Robbie Peden wins. Punch wise, yeah. Maybe more. Didn't have it. I wonder what the scorecard said. 
Well, the scorecards had Pete at two out of three, so Peter was going to win. Make this America. Okay, Jeff Harding, light heavyweight, gets the June middleweight, Sharky Ramon. See, Manny Seaman and Danny Florio, your captain. Jeff Conner, the answer. Ali Sonoma, your ring card girl. John Wright coming into referee this one. Emma Durunga, Michael Lee, and Larry O'Connor are your judges. Larry O'Connor, your right side expert. Harding from. The, the Hitman from Sydney, Australia, 6 foot 174, 23 2 0, the WBC late heavyweight champion at one time. He, Christoph Tiasso, that's the only guy I recognize. Chucky Ramon from Google, New South Wales. Well, Sydney is New South Wales, too. 33 1, he was a Commonwealth champion for a while. <laughs>
Who's he? The one in the Paraguay 160, 112 Hardy. I heard kind of England scores at 114-114. Well, if it's for Ramon or Ty. This match is up. Michael Lee, oh, South Korea scores about 150-124. Hardy? Yep, Jeff Hardy, who wins by majority decision. Uh, well, Ramon did not Hardy down. Scorecards say, yeah, 345, 338. Yeah, Ramon couldn't win any rounds if he wanted to. But yeah, I am on. Anyway, next is a uh, about the featherweight shirt. Andals gets the band away. Susie Ramadan. We might as well have a match here. Spider Kelly and Ducky Smith. Big Cutman. John Wright, your referee. Jeff Connor, your announcer. Steve Weisbelt, Gerald Maltz, and David Palmer, your judges. Ian Lloyd, your ringside expert. Sharon Annals, Wild Thing, from Queensland State, and then went to Geelong and Victoria State, 5-4-1-30. WBC Feather, wait, FEMA Featherweight Champion. Susie Ronaldon, Susie Q, as she calls herself, from Preston, from the state of Victoria, 5-4-1-20. 23-1, WBC Bantamweight, uh, WBC International Bantamweight, IBF Bantamweight, so she's going to go to resume.
last name is a little bit misfortunous. I misfortune, don't you think? Chair of Malt scores about one fifteen, one thirteen for Agnos. Steve Weisfeld, in the US, scores about even. And Nathan Palmer scores about 115-113 for Anjos. Yep, Anjos, by majority decision, she wins. Close game. Punching accuracy is rather balanced. I can see why it was close. Ramadan was good at the first three rounds, but then lost ground. Cat Yeah, I was given round one by Meltz. Weisbelt did not. And two more to go. And two more to go. Uh, Dave Sands versus Jimmy Carruthers. Middleweight versus Brandon Wade. And Manfredo and Simon for Carruthers. Ed Daring, the announcer. Janice Bloggs, a great card girl. Generate your referee. Australia. Novina, Lathan, Ronaldo, Cadio, and Vic Burnett are your judges. Rob Lewis remains that expert. Dave Sands for only 26 when he died for Burt Rich, New South Wales, 5 10 159. He's 10 and 1. He was pretty much an Australian champion. And Jimmy Carruthers from Paddington by way of Sydney, so New South Wales, 1929 1990. Five six one seventeen, twenty one and four. The world bantamweight champion for a while. He was undefeated as a bantamweight.
Rogers completely botched it. Dave Sands wins. My disqualification. Crothers had the punching thing. He did get a cut, but the scorecard said that Crothers was leading on all three scoreboards. So, that was a terrible mistake by Crothers to get disqualified. He would have won, definitely. And last fight is Peter Jackson, not the guy from New Zealand who directed Lord of the Rings, and Jeff Fetish. Fight first from the 1880s and the 1980s. Macy Moon, I cut the Jake Gutierrez is your announcer. Ali Sonoma, your ring card girl. Derek Milhan, back to be the free. Soren Segment, Mary O'Connell, and Manuel Arroyo, your judges. Jason Wood, your ringside expert. Peter Jackson, the Black Prince from the U.S. Virgin Islands, then went to Sydney, Australia. All right, 1861 to 1901, 61 to 190. 46-3, the Commonwealth. Henry Taylor and Bill was the Commonwealth, uh, the colored heavyweight champion of the world. Jeff Vanish, America Miller from America by Sydney. Born 1964, 5'7 and about 140 pounds. There's one 29-3 and 1. And WBC featherweight, super bantamweight, IBF bantamweight. Inducted to the Boxing Hall of Fames, competed in the 1984 Olympics for Australia, worked as a boxing trainer, won the IBF bed of weight in a seventh professional fight. So Jeff finished doing his job. He's beating people like Carl Sorrette uh, and Steve McCrory. All right, here we go.
Andrew Jackson knew it was time. Surprised it took that long. 59-25. Look at that. Jackson not finished down five times and still it took till the 12th round. Finish is basically great effort, good effort. You gotta love his effort. He was gonna get crushed on the scorecards, but I mean, dude, the, the guy lasted for 12 rounds before being KO'd. So the first two fights went to the guys in the blue corner, and then the next four went to the red corner, the other corner. So, her TKO's three majority decisions, and a disqualification. So, it's a pretty good day for me, Ozzy. Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi. Anyway, I'm Jeff, I'm gonna do.